salutation YouTube is I, Cal Precious, bringing you another episode of FDL, Fast and Light Advanced Edition with the Slug Cruiser. And for those of you who haven't watched the previous episodes of the series, why are you starting episode 3? That's weird. But um, in this series, the gameplay is silent and the footage is sped up to double speed and I uh, voice narrate over talking about random things and the speed up starts now um, so the past two episodes I've sort of just like talked about whatever I fancied talked about whatever I fancied talking about as you see now we're in the uh, last sector every now and again I refer to the, uh, what's going on in the game uh, I refer to the gameplay every now and again uh, this video is significantly shorter than the last one, it's about half the length because the uh, game ends. Then I either win or I die. Like playing the game of thrones. Um So this so this episode I put some thought into what I was uh, planning on doing. And I decided that I will you know just talk about a few of the games I own. Uh, you know, go over some of the games I've completed and give them, give them a little review. Um, I'm just looking at the games right now and seeing which ones. I didn't choose which ones to review, although I do have a few in mind. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Borderlands 2. Uh, Borderlands 2, Game of the Year Edition. Brilliant game, I loved it. Um, wasn't wasn't the biggest fan of Borderlands 1, although they definitely carried over a lot of stuff from Borderlands 1 and put it into Borderlands 2. In some aspects, they made it better, some aspects, not as much, but still, on its own, like, if you just play that one on its own, brilliant game. There's a lot of, like, references back to the old Borderlands, back to Borderlands 1, which you're not going to get. You won't enjoy as much if you haven't played the first one, but on its own, brilliant game. The characters are funny, the dialogue is you know it's well done. I loved it all. I uh, played through it, completed it, uh, completed it on true vault mode. Haven't completed on ultra vault mode because I'm too much of a noob to um to go ahead and do that. I'm not strong enough. I guess I could if I played it I could I can complete it on ultra vault in the mode if I played through it like properly, but I just I die a lot and I don't really fancy dying over and over and over, and over again, so I'll just leave it. Uh, the DLC, um, I'll get into the DLC later, but um, the character that I mainly play as is Zero because he was like the stealthy melee build, and I don't really like that in games, but I like it in like games that are open world and you have a lot of choice. The games like Skyrim, I like going into caverns all stealthy like and just taking everyone out without anyone knowing that I'm, I was there. I had that was going on like Brute Warrior style and just hack everyone to pieces. The Vampire one. Recently completed all the achievements in that game, which is not much of an accomplishment, but still. It's the first like retail game that I've completed, which I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with. I never really like complete all the achievements in the games because I just don't really fancy grinding the games for just, you know, an extra hundred games for or whatever. Um, the story in Borderlands is. I never really followed the story that much in games, but Borderlands, it, like, it hits you with it over and over and over again. But not in a bad way, where it feels like it's all games are bad. But in a way that, you know, it references it over and over again. But, like, sometimes subtly. Yeah, it's kind of just like a character saying, just like referring to what happened to the vault in the first game, or what's probably awaiting for you in the vault in this one, and the fact that Handsome Jack is a brilliant character. He's like my favourite character in that scene because he's hilarious. Bit of a dick, quite a bit of a dick, but I still like him. He like, you know, he contacts you, and that like really gets you involved in the story because he's a funny character, charismatic. Right uh, until the end, um, you know, and there's stuff like that. The characters, keep, uh, the NPCs, and that keep contacting you throughout the game. 
just remind you like the story like, so you pay attention to it and that's not, not that's a bad thing I think it's a good thing in that game you know, like it gets you involved in the story and that's good I like that uh, right. another thing I like is the like I can't remember how many guns there is did they say like, it's not, they said how much there were and it was either like it was in the billions or the high millions and that's an insane amount of weapons in the game uh, and it's just like you get one good gun amongst a thousand other guns that are like just lying on the floor and you gotta pick a good one up. But I've got a pretty good build. Uh, I play Zero, but not like I used to play him in the way that he was like stealthy and really good with melee. Like he could just like one hit, one shot, pretty much any guy. But against bosses, like enemies with an insane amount of health wasn't that good because my melee was really effective when they're on low health and then I can just kill them instantly because that's one of Zero's abilities with melee. So I got Gold Foxy because we both had the game to, you know, we both shot the boss, weakened it and then I went in for the kill. But that was what I used to do and that, you know, worked out to be fine I guess up to a certain point where the game just got too rough and I just wasn't able to like stay up long enough to take everyone down. By the time my ability recharged I was in fight for your life mode again. And like recently I've been playing a lot solo and that build isn't very good for solo because you can't really go in stealthy in that game because there's not just like one enemy on his own. There's always like a large group of enemies. But I'll get back to Bollins in a minute. Now I'm fighting the reflection. Uh, this is, this is nearing the end, folks, of this series. The slow cruiser, the slow cruiser was good to me. Not gonna lie, it was a, it was a city ship. I enjoyed every minute of it. You know, it's such a good, strong ship, and uh, it allows all the special place in my heart. Anyway, back to Portland. Now I play Zero with a pistol build, with an infinity pistol. And all the stats you need for that, you can look up on YouTube for like guides on the best pistol builds for Zero. And that's pretty much the build that I've got. It's very powerful and I love it. Uh, DLC. DLC is pretty much just like the game, just more wacky and more just out there as a game. It really like. It fleshes out the characters. And it doesn't really flesh out in the DLC. It introduces new characters and fleshes them out really well. And it's just really good. I love it. The DLC is amazing. Sorry, I rushed through the last part, but I want to get into other games because we're already half through the video. I've already talked about Warcraft too. Um, I have three Dragon Ball games on my shelf, for my Xbox, and I want to talk about at least one of them. So I'll talk about my favourite one. That's then Dragon Ball Raging Blast Two. Uh, it's not held as the best Dragon Ball game. But in my opinion, it's kind of the best Dragon Ball game. It's like, it's, there are Dragon Ball games that are really good, and there's some that are quite poor. Um, Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, it's a lot of just people who have. But I also own that game, Burst Limit, not the best Dragon Ball game. Raging Master 2 is very good. You can play through Galaxy mode, there's no story mode, because, you know, we've all played through the story on Dragon Ball, and they didn't want to do that again. What they've done is they added Galaxy mode where you can play as many different characters. I beat the flagship already and now I'm in the second fight with the flagship which in my opinion is the hardest one because all the drones, it sucks. But if you're doing what I'm doing, getting two anti-drone drones, the drones aren't that much of a problem unless they fly around really fast so the drones can't target them and take them down like they are now. But, back to Dragon Ball. Galaxy mode lets you play through about pretty much every character in Dragon Ball. And you get to play like at least, I think it's like about seven or more missions with each one. So that's every character in Dragon Ball has got their every pretty much every character in the Dragon Ball unit, Dragon Ball Z universe. You can play as as like a main character, and you, they all get like their own like seven missions that you got to play through. So there's like like three hundred fights you got to go through, and it's awesome. Some of them are really hard. I remember the hardest fight. Was with Vegeta, was with the Vegeta, the Vegeta, 
it was with Vegeta and Galaxman, where um, one fight was some fights have like uh, certain battle conditions, like beat the enemies before this time, or uh, how much damage can you do before X amount of time, or how many hits can you land in X amount of time. I just beat the flagship on the hardest one, and now I'm on the one which is still pretty hard if you're not prepared for it. But you know, I think I think that going into this, I was like, okay, let's keep my wits about me. This is better if you got like, a faster build, in my opinion. You can do this fight a lot faster with um, if you got like a, a ship that can fire like over and over and over again really fast. But I do not have that, and that's what it can let you down. Just want to say that while this fight happens. Plus, that's all and shield is a pain in the ass. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm probably just gonna really talk about Legend Wars 2. Oh well, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Vegeta. There was one mission where I had to beat Androids 16, uh, 17, and 18 in near death mode, where you have like one HP, and it was so hard. I took Android 16 out straight away because I started in a mode where I had max key and I can just do my ultimate attack on him, kill him real quick. I had to like, and then it was either 17 or 18 that I always got because they could just like hit me once in my barrage of combos and that would be it, I'd be down. And that sucked. It was so hard, it took me like a week to get through it. Uh, brilliant game. Like, I've still not completed it and I've been playing it for about three months. I've basically been doing character every week or so on. I need to sit down and just complete every character, but it takes like, like half an hour, about half an hour or so to finish a character. And well, half an hour to an hour if you want to do good to get through a character. And that just takes so long. It's a brilliant game though. The um, split screen verses in it are very fun. It kind of does what Battle of Z does, but not as well. Like, you get to fly around the arena, walk around, like, the map that you're on. And there's, like, different things you can hide behind. There's, like, the World's Martial Arts Tournament ring thing. And it's good because you can fight on that and you can fly around. And it, it feels like, you know, you're actually in, like, a Dragon Ball Z fight. Because the, 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 um, the commentator, or whatever. The, uh, that dude. I won! I beat the dude, I beat the Rebel flagship with the slow cruiser because I'm awesome. Yeah, just, just take that in. Second place on my leaderboard. About 60 more points, 70 more points, well, 72 more points. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, tends to two more points. And I would have got first place in that. Still, 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 still. Very proud to have beaten the Rebel flagship on my first try with a new ship on Advanced Edition in front of you people with a new series. I used an experiment and I hope this experiment did well. Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, Borderlands 2, Game of the Edition are both brilliant games. I would recommend you go out and buy them if you, you know. You've not got enough money, wait for them to be on sale. I doubt you'll get Dragon Ball Z Vision Boss, Dragon Ball Vision Boss 2 on sale. It's an old game, but I'm going to end here, would you? I hope you're watching. If you're watching, watch me the videos. Uh, see you next episode or whatever, you know, comes out. Bye!